So Larry came into town to hang out with Rob. We had he had to take care of a couple things with Rob today. But I have been busy painting our bedroom all day long. As you can see, I gotta do that wall yet. But I went from that color to that color. Because we have like ball stains on the wall from the dogs. It was just getting kind of gunky. Um, so it's a bright gold fun color. But Rob has no clue I've been painting all day long. Come on, Mark. Come on, team. Out. And all of my stuff is right here. And he's going to be home soon because tonight we're cooking for Tasty Tuesday, number six, I believe it is. Um, so they're going to be home soon. And I got to get Rob's reaction on video because hopefully he won't be mad. I don't think he'll be mad because it's just a typical Sarah move to do something like that. But they're, they're not here yet. Hello! <laughs> Tasty Tuesday in a bag, buddy. We're doing some good stuff tonight. <laughs> Honey, you gotta come see my surprise. <laughs> hey, Marlon. Remy, come on. Quiet. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I knew it was something bad. I knew it, you guys. Get back. Yay! This girl's nuts. Alright, to all the ladies out there, y'all are crazy. But at least she doesn't. Do you like it? It's pain. <laughs> I'll say what it's done. Do you like the color? Yeah, it looks wonderful. I think it's awesome. Tebow. Quiet. Quiet. Before I put you outside. We're gonna do a special one tonight, you guys. Shrimp. In Clams Casino. Typically when you have Clams Casino, it's always just a half a clam. Well, we're going to split it in half and do Shrimp Casino and Clams Casino at the same time because we're all about utilizing what we got. And I got some cupcake Sauvignon Blanc to make a sauce with and some baby bell mushrooms and some key limes, butter, Parmesan cheese. This is lemongrass puree and some little honey gold potatoes. So, I went to the grocery store, it's raining outside, but we're gonna be eating good tonight, and I am so hungry. Look at the dogs. The dogs are highly upset that they're not inside right now. I'm sure they are. Yeah, but anytime Larry's here, the dogs go crazy, because they love Uncle Larry, as all of you should as well. Uncle Larry is like family to me. I've known him since, oh, where are those pictures at? Here's a good one right off the bat, right off the front. Robert just dug these out the other day. <laughs> That's Robert, 15 years ago, running the first boat that I had down here, a 32 foot Grady White. And as you can see, we were having fun way back then, and we've been friends ever since. So, if you can see that. Yeah, I'll find a couple of more. He was just a skinny kid working the dock back then. <laughs> and ran my too. boat. So, here's another one right here. Get a picture of this one right here. Hollywood Rob, back in the day. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was great. This is farmland classic cut bacon. It's naturally applewood smoked. And in all honesty, it was just on sale. Because it looked good, so I bought it. And I'll cut it all up, because I need that rendered Fat. And we're gonna just fry up some of that. We'll just throw it in here. Now, as this starts to cook, they'll start to break apart. You can just roll them around there. I don't know if you can see it if you can get it close enough. That's Robert. Wait, wait, wait. That's Robert on a, two, a, a tasty Tuesday about 15 years ago. Fresh yellowfin tuna on the boat. So, he was doing this way back then as far as cooking. He's been a good cook <laughs> since he was a kid. All right, so, there's our bacon. Now, we'll just let that sit over there. Here's our potatoes. Throw them right in there. Got our potatoes. Little Everglades. 
some cracked pepper. We're gonna have some good potatoes. Take some mushrooms. Throw them in there. Oh yeah, so I'm just them out. That's just some chicken stock. All right, if your clams don't want to open up, this is just some chicken broth. That chicken broth will change their mind. While that's going on, we're gonna be using some chop garlic in just a little bit, about, about that much. Would, would water open them up? Water would, but the uh, this is a lot, lot more flavorful. The chicken broth just adds so much to it, and you don't want to steam them for too long because you'll cook them. You'll cook them all the way, and you don't want to do that. We're just trying to open them up. Okay, so we'll let those sit there for just a minute. Now, I'm gonna make. A little garlic butter sauce. Take about a half stick of butter. Throw that in there. I'm gonna take my garlic. Throw that in there. That's gonna start to smell nice. A little fresh cracked pepper. Just a dash of Everglades. Then we've got some key limes. And if you've ever had key limes, they're smaller and they have the most amazing aroma. I love the smell of key limes. If you don't have key limes, just use regular limes. And then we'll start squeezing this, squeezing these into there. I've got just a little bit of barefoot Pinot Grigio. Pour that in there. Just like that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take these clams and I'm gonna lay them out flat, just like this. Make sure the clam is on one side. This is gonna be awesome. There you have all those clams. The clams are opened up. You've got a piece of shrimp in one side, you got clam in the other. Okay, so there's that white wine garlic butter sauce. And we're just gonna start ladling that right into here just like this. Oh, that's nice. You don't have to have a ton of it. Just try to get some of that flavor in there. And I love the flavor of this fresh garlic with the white wine, the butter. It's just amazing. I don't know if that was on purpose or how that worked out, but it seems like it came out just perfect. This is some of our applewood smoked bacon that we've already cooked. I'll just dice this up in the pan or in my plate here. I'm not trying to go too heavy. bacon where we can. You can put more or less bacon on however you decide. I'm not going to put a ton of bacon on because I want you to be able to taste that fresh garlic. I want you to be able to taste the, the 
clams and shrimp, the seasoning. So some will have a little more, some will have a little less. As always, this is up to you. If you want to put a lot of bacon on every one, go for it. If you want to put no bacon on them, go for it. I went like half and half. Heavy on some, light on the others. There you go. I've got my I've got my tray set about middle way. The broiler's on high. Here's our potatoes and mushrooms. They're ready to go. So I'm gonna clean up the rest of this. All right, so we're right at four and a half minutes. Let's pull them out. They're looking good. So now those are out. Then we're just gonna have a little shrimp parmesan cheese. And you don't wanna go too heavy on this because it'll overpower your dish. So that's pretty much all she wrote. Before it cools down, let's put it back in here for about three more minutes. All right, so 7.28, we'll be ready to go. Now instead of having just your clams casino, we've got shrimp in clams casino. Now there you go. We've got the sauteed baby bella mushrooms with the pan fried potatoes. We've got the clams and shrimp casino. Let's see what everybody thinks of it. Hey, hey dad, come here and grab some of this. Blessing, you guys. Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for this food. Thank you for all our many blessings. Lord, I pray that you nourish it to our body and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, so far I'm okay, but you might bring an extra one. Mm. Does it taste good? Very good. Excellent. Yeah, it did taste good. Where'd you get the clams? In Publix. Very, very good. Oh, you put a shrimp on this one. Yeah. Half shrimp, half clam. Yeah, they always make they always make clams casino out of just clams. Well, I wanted to split it in half and put shrimp on one side, clam on the other, so it was more of a meal versus just an appetizer. Dad, what do you what have you done different? Nothing. Added a little bit more lemon juice or wine or whatever. That was good. It shouldn't be full. Then you get. <laughs> what would you do different, honey? Have more. Have more. <laughs> Trey, what did you think? Trey, give her. Are you gonna eat all your French fries? I would have my wife cook it. You'd have your wife cook it, huh? Yeah, I'm not a good cook. <laughs> well, you don't have a wife either. <laughs> I thought it was delicious. I second Sarah's motion. We just needed more of the little buggers. <laughs> good deal. Very good. All right, you guys, so that's what it's like. We just improvised, threw something together that I thought would be cool. And uh, it's always great having Dad and Uncle Larry and Trey. And always nice having people show up for dinner. No. Hope you guys enjoyed. Try it, because it was really, really good. And uh, let us know what you think.